Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to upload a zip or a PHP file on your hosting a website. So let us go in. The first thing we want to do is go over to our menu panel right at the top of the page and you want to tap on websites. Now from here, you want to choose where you are going to jump into. Okay, so I've got three websites here. Now, the one very important thing you need to know is if you're using um, the hosting a website builder, which will give you this icon here, this is not accessible. The only way that this will be accessible is if you're using the WordPress website builder. So I'm going to go in here, tap on manage. From here, you can select the domain that you would like to now use. And there is a file manager option right in the middle of the page. You're going to tap on that. And over here is where you'll see all the files that are available on your actual hosting page or your website. So we're going to go into the public underscore HTML. And here you will see all of your documents on the top right hand side. You can now tap on upload. Now this will open up this window where you can choose a file, which would be a PHP file or a zip file. And you're going to tap on that. And here you will see where all your folders and files are. So you're going to go ahead, you can select the one that you'd like to use. And uh, then you're going to go ahead and tap on open. Now, once you tap on open, this will literally upload that file to your server. And you can go ahead and wait a few minutes and you'll be able to extract that zip file. Our zip file has now been uploaded and you can see it's just over here. And once you click on it, you have two options right at the top. You have the extract option or you can right click and you can just look for the extract option. Now, once you tap on extract, you can now choose where you need to extract this and store it. So what we want to do is we want to double click on the very first folder, which is our root folder. And you can see now we can just give it a name. And once we've given it a name, we can also choose to overwrite existing files with the same file name. And we're going to go ahead and tap on extract. Now, this will take a few seconds to extract. And once it's done, it'll be extracted. And if this is a website that you've uploaded, um, you will now have it applied to your website in hosting it, this website that we're talking about right over here. Now, if this was helpful, go ahead and drop us a like, show your support so that we can continue making awesome videos. We'll see you next time.